Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Plasma. And as I said, today is going to be a little different. I'm not going to be building things, no, no. I'm giving my brain a little bit of a rest, because this thing over here has tried my patience. Not really. It was fun to build this. I enjoyed my time. And I also did... Uh, a couple improvements on it, and we'll talk about that in a second. But as I said, today is all about creator com uh, community creator creations. I'm going to be looking at some people's worlds and maybe some people's creations too. But most importantly, I want to see worlds people have made because that's what this game is really cool about. Like, sure, you can build your machines, but you can build worlds and levels and mini games in this game without having to mod or anything, which is super cool. And I'm going to check out some of those today. But before we get to that, as I said, I made some improvements to this machine. As you can see, there are now two joysticks. I can go up and down now, which is nice. But also, there's only two buttons. As you can see, I can press one button, and it puts both of them at separate angles. Now, I was very close to this in the video. Uh, I, it was actually a very simple solution to that problem. I figured it out right away when I did it on my own. All you have to do is, I was right with the math expression, but... Instead of having this do math, I just put it to evaluate. So when this button is pressed, it evaluates this, the equation and it puts out the result, which, wait, what in the world is going on? Oh yeah, this is, never mind, forget about it. I had two math things. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. You push the button, evaluates, and uh, it's V1 plus V2. And V1 is 45 and V2 is 0, so it turns out it's just be 45. So it says it's 45, which is pretty nifty. Uh, that opens up a whole lot of possibilities, so you can have one button do many different things, so... It's pretty sweet. Also, I found out... Magnets only uh, uh, attract magnets in this game. So since I've got a magnet on this thing now... Uh, if I press my magnet button in the car... They can attract to each other. There we go, now they're stuck. It's not a great seal... But it's better than nothing. I think that's the only way it can have something dock in it at this point. But anyways, that's what I've done with this. I want to go check out some people's worlds. So uh, let's just hit F7 and uh, discover some worlds. The game's been out for a little bit now. And uh, I think that people have had time to make some pretty cool things. So we've got the showcase worlds, which are like super cool ones. I think that the game has chosen to uh, show off what people can do. I want to check out this one, Portal Test Chamber. The first test chamber from the game Portal. I'm very curious to see, oh, oh yeah, it has to download. I'm very curious to see what kind of accuracy this has. It's only got three stars for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I didn't really change anything, so continue. Oh, here we are. Okay, oh, it's got the camera on the wall. There's nothing in the actual, uh, place. Uh, so it's kind of just, a just a faithful recreation, if you will. Uh, can I go through the doors? Or, oh, I can. What's this button do? I cannot push. Is that a proximity sensor? I guess that's a proximity sensor. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see underneath the thing. All right, can I actually go through portals? Oh, man. Oh, I can't actually go through portals. That's kind of sad. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know how they would uh, do that in this game. All right, well, we've got a button. I'm assuming we'll drop a block. There we go. And I'm going to put the block, or a companion cube, on there. And it opened the door. Oh, there we go. Another proximity says, oh, no, neurotoxins. Oh, no. This isn't how I'm supposed to die. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Oh, I'm locked in here now. So it wasn't exactly like, I wasn't expecting portal. I mean, I guess I kind of was, but <laughs> I don't know why. But that's still fun. Oh, man, that's that's good. Okay, now I want to go over to here to discover these worlds. Splatoon. Okay, color me intrigued. A split screen Im implementation of Splatoon. Right trigger to fire, left trigger to boost. When you are on your own color, disable your opponent by hitting the X on their back. Currently still a work in progress, you will have to fly up and set up the controls foe. I am super intrigued by this one. This is definitely, don't don't say, this isn't my world. I, I am a huge Splatoon fan, for people who don't know. I play that a lot with my nieces, they love it too. I kind of introduced them to it, not gonna take credit for it or anything, but it was me. Oh, so there's, whoa, 
Okay, that's kind of... Uh, oh, uh, what is... Oh, oh, frame rates, please. What do I do? What do I do? Um... What, what is actually happening? Oh! Okay, I'm off the thing. Holy frame rates. Um... So, oh, you control a drone. I see. How am I supposed to take control? Oh, frame rate. Oh, frame rate's bad here. Oh, apologies. It's really bad. How do I actually control? That's my question. Eh. Click. Click. E. Button. Button. WASD. Mouse. Keyboard. Okay, it said something about you have to fly up and configure the controls. But, I don't know how. I would like to see the rest of the description for this world. Uh... Uh... Okay, I can't exactly see the description of this world. That's kind of annoying. Um... Well? I'd love to be able to try this out. But I don't know how. I don't know how. I want to play Splatoon. <laughs> Oh man, this sounds like so much fun. Why can't I? Why, why do I have to configure my controls? Why do I have to do that? Oh man, look at all this complicated stuff. RGB. Ooh, what is it's changing? Oh, Scott. That's so cool. What do these do? Oh, baby. <laughs> so it's got like the view of the map from the top. This is so cool. I want to actually do it. Please. I don't know how to control it. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to this one later when it's more fleshed out. Please continue with this one. I'd love to see it to its, uh, to its entirety. I'm also kind of curious about the FPS challenge over here. That one kind of intrigues me. Uh, someone speedrun this. I'll take it upon myself, sir. Cal the Cool. Welcome to FPS challenge. Step one, shoot white targets with the pistol. Then report back here for your next step. Press B to equip your pistol. Okay. B. Okay, it was already equipped, but, oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, it's got bullet drop and everything. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot the targets then. Bang. Oh man, it feels kind of, I don't know. Feel, uh, this game doesn't exactly feel great for an FPS game, but you know what? It could be worse. There's a lot of bullet drop here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spam. There we go. Uh, now what? Did I hit them all? Oh. Oh, shoot the yellow targets with the shotgun, then report back for the next step. Uh, scroll to change weapon. Oh, <laughs> hey, look at that. Bam. Oh my goodness. Okay, that has quite the, quite the spread. This is so far. Okay, I shot way over it. Eh. Over here. I'm speed running. Am I doing good? Am I gonna get world record? I feel like I am. I feel like I'm on world record pace. Okay, there's tons of bullet drop on this. Is that all of them? I think so. Shoot the red targets with the machine gun and then report back here when you're done. Uh, double tap W to sprint. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, so much bullet drop on this thing. I'm just gonna spray these guys. Now this is how you speed run. Now this is, this is, <clears throat> why isn't this one dead? This is speed running. This is, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is speed running. This right here. I'm doing the best I can. Look at this. This is very, Man, I really kind of wish that there was more bullet velocity and a little less drop. Kind of feels a little silly. Alright, shoot the green targets with the sniper and report back here for your next step. That's such a cool model. It actually zooms. Oh man, it doesn't have bullet drop, but they don't move very fast. Okay, I've got to time this. Beautiful, okay. That's cool how it actually has magnification. The sensitivity is crazy in it. But, I think... Oh, what a shot. That was beautiful. Oh, I've got to time this one up here, too. Wait, no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> False alarm. Did I get them all? Oh, there's more over here. Okay, I'm gonna just shoot this one. And then I'm gonna shoot this one. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay, where am I? I'm gonna unscope, and then I'm gonna shoot that guy. I think that's all of them. Am I done? Shoot the blue targets with the rocket launcher. Okay. Now that sounds kind of fun. Where are these blue targets? Do you mean these things? Well, that wasn't very explosive. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a little bit disappointed. And where are my blue targets? I don't see the blue targets. These are all just gray. And they don't react. And they're down. What do I do? What do I do? 
How am I supposed to speed run this if it doesn't work? Whoa. Look at this complicated device. Now this is what allows you to have the weapons. That's so cool. It's starting to make a very mean sound now. Eek. That's super cool how this works. Huh. I love that. I think my favorite is the little pistol. It feels the best. Okay, the community's been hard at work. Moo. This one sounds kind of intriguing. Survival. A survival world where you collect materials, build, and explore. I'll maybe add more to this world later, like enemies and points of interest. Uh, cool. I'll subscribe to that. Whoa. Okay, we got a whole bunch of these things. Are these like loot boxes? I just got 10 thing. I got, I'm gonna just loot everything. Loot it all. Okay, I've got resources. I've got like 15 controllers, 16 buttons, 37 blocks. I love that UI! That's so cool! I didn't even know you could make UI elements. That's probably something that I mounted you right now. Look at that! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, it's like a... Is that a holographic projector? That's so cool! And it's got a little UI floating in front of me. That is so awesome! Okay, let's go survive. I wonder, can you take damage in this game? I didn't think that there was damage to the character. Um, maybe there is. I didn't think there was, but this is super cool. Is this all there is? Can I, like, open my inventory and craft and stuff? I don't think so, because I can, like, open my inventory and build. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if this is actually going to be a survival game in the end. I'm curious to see what kind of mechanics that you can actually put into this. But that's super cool for a start. I like the inventory system and the, uh, well, I guess that's pretty much all there is in this game, but that's a good start. I mean, you gotta have an inventory for a survival game. And it is a work in progress. That's super cool. I hope that this game gets enough support from the community and from the devs itself to uh, actually make it into something that is thriving and has a huge creative fan base and allows me to just like come over here and mooch off of people's hard work because I can't do this kind of stuff myself. No, I'm not that kind of I'm not that kind of creative person. Maybe someday I'll get to the point where I can make things like this. But looking at other people's stuff is super fun. I really like the creativity that is shown here. Can you get these more than once? No. That's cool. Oh. Well, I'd like to see where this can go, like maybe make it so you can craft and stuff and actually have things to do. Or maybe a tutorial, because like maybe that stuff is in the game, I just don't know how to do it. Because <laughs> I'm impatient and I don't have the time to just sit around and, and, and wait for the things to come to me. I want to take a look at another showcase one. I kind of want to look at this one. Dynatech Heist. Psst. Hey, you. You want to break into a secure facility? Of course you do. I've got just the job for you. That sounds like fun. Is this like a stealth mission? I've got one check. This is another one of those showcase worlds, so it's probably one that's been handpicked by the uh, devs. I don't know how that works. Maybe it's not. Um, but they seem to be a little like maybe a cub of the rest. Is that a phone call for me? All right, an incoming call. Holy buzzing. Glad to hear you took me up on the job offer. Let's get you up to speed on the details. That is so cool. One of the Dynatech ex execs slip their plan for a, let slip their plans for a revolutionary new computer chip. Apparently it's so advanced that it could put other manufacturers out of business. Well, that's a shame. Including us. Rather than just sit back and let them ha let that happen though, I figure we should take action. That's where you come in. Oh boy. There's a Dynatech warehouse just nearby. Uh, nearby. This specific warehouse just happens to have a copy of the CPU schematics. I want you to sneak in, nab the copy, and hightail it out of there. Sounds like a walk in the park, right? Well, not exactly. The doors are locked tight, so it'll be tricky to get in. They didn't skip on security either. Still, if anyone can do it, you can. The warehouse is near the top of the hill, to the southwest. Just follow the street lamps, you can't miss it. We'll be waiting for you back at HQ. Call ended. That is so cool. I can pick up the phone. This is so awesome. Oh, and inventory is disabled too. Cool, so I can't go cheesing in building. This is so awesome. Can I double tap to sprint? I can. Woo! This is so cool so far. I wonder what's over that way. I'm gonna follow the mission. I'm gonna stay on task. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, plasma is so awesome. The things you can do in this game. You can make straight up games. This is awesome. Oh, the blue moon. Okay. 
Just going to keep on... Oh, laser beams! Okay, we've got some security cams up here. What is this? What is that? I feel like that's something that's supposed to keep me out. Hmm. Okay. How aware are these things? Do I have to, like, get hit by the actual beam? Or anywhere that the beam kind of is will get me? Ooh, boy. Okay, let's, uh... Let's be smart about this. Work smarter, not harder. Here we go. And yeah, okay, I made it. I made it. I made it. Cameras don't see me. Okay, we've got a oh, we've got a keypad here. Uh, gotta put the right key in. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak underneath these things. I'll bet I can find myself a clue over here in this handy little laptop that somebody left. Plasma OS. <laughs> Your PC is a gun and a fatal error and cannot start. Maybe next time you don't leave it outside, okay? <laughs> oh, that's funny. 15049. Okay, that should be the password to the door. Or maybe that's the password to the laptop. I don't know. 15409. Let me in. Let me in. Send. That ain't it. Oh, get stuck in the ground. That ain't it. Did I remember the password wrong? Did I remember the password wrong? 15049. Where did I... Wow. That just went in one ear and out the other. Holy cow. 49. That's better. Okay. Now... No, oh, don't, don't do that! Don't push me into the laser beams, you crazy. Okay, we're just gonna stand on this side. That's so cool. It's actually got door locking mechanics. Oh, I'm in the facility. Okay. No cameras inside, eh? Just outside? Now remember that change... Remember change front door password. Probably a good idea. Uh, can I do anything with this? Enter. Up, down, left, right. If I focus on this, I can actually use my keyboard. That's super cool. I love that. Um, uh, how do I get out? There we go. There we go. What are these? Very colorful. What's this say? Slider broken. Need to call the tech support. Hmm. I'll bet I can fix this with imagination and, and uh, death stuff. There we go. That should solve the problem. Whoa! Is that what's supposed to happen? <laughs> is, that, is that what's supposed to ha happen? Can I use this as like a jumping platform now? Is that what I'm supposed to do? This is so cool. There's like puzzle solving and stuff. What is this? <gasps> is that the CPU? <gasps> I'm so close. Okay, I need to place some things. Got a broken computer here. I wonder, does it do anything? Oh, oh, it's smoking. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at the details of this game. That's awesome. I wonder, can I unblock this door? Kind of seems like I cannot. The big boxes are too much for my little robot hands. Okay, I need to find the password for that door. Um. Maybe it's the same. One, five, oh, four, nine? Send. It is not. Maybe I should place these on here? Is that what's going on? Oh, got some lights. I think that is definitely a good sign. Okay, one more and I'm free as a bird. Don't know what the liftomatic was all about. Maybe that's just for fun. I heard a bing. <gasps> the door's open. I got it. Okay. Is this what I'm after? Is this what I'm here for? Is this the thing? Okay, it's time to... Uh-oh. I can't actually get out of here. Oh! Was that something I was supposed to get? This thing? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. These have to go in here. Ah ha ha, that's cool. This is a piece of the puzzle. Aha! It's all coming together now. So I need one more, which should just be right here. I thought that was like a, a mouse. Oh, I booted it up. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay. Um, um, space bar. I'm going to press all the buttons until something good happens. Enter, enter. Arrow keys. What if I focus on it? Okay, I can actually draw or type. That's super cool. Um, how... Um, how about pass? 
An on command pass type help for a list of commands. Okay. Um, help. Uh, available commands clear, cam, view camera feed, lock, close inner door, hack, don't use this, help show this message. Hack. Found new device connecting, connected, ac accessing warning, malicious device behavior attempting to disconnect. Uh oh. I done did it. I done did it. Okay, how do I get out of here? Escape. That is so cool! Oh, I'm going out of my mind with how cool that was. Oh, there's a tree in here. Um, this is a load-bearing tree. Do not chop. Yes, Dave, that means you. Seriously, don't. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Who's Dave and why is he chopping down the trees? Security system. Upper level access. I guess we're going up. Uh, what are you? What do you do? Help. Uh, avail commands clear email. Let's read the mail. Ooh, Dave. Subject inappropriate behavior. Dave, I get that you think the tree gets in the way. That is not an excuse to bring an axe to work. I'll admit it was a nice distraction, but please don't do it again. It doesn't sound like Dave likes trees. Uh, what are we doing here? Ooh, we're going up. Stop. There are no company secrets beyond this point. Just normal boring documents. I don't believe you. Okay, seriously, you wouldn't find them interesting. So much le legalese in these documents. I'm worried whoever wrote them didn't fall asleep halfway through. I'm surprised, whoever. I can read. Uh, then again, maybe they did fall asleep. Some of those documents are written like the author changed multiple times. Really shoddy work, not worth reading. Uh, you know, it's still worth looking at, if you don't mind. What a lovely tree. Looks like it was handmade. That's great. Oh, so many things to go through. What is this? Suggestions? <laughs> I didn't even realize that's a paper shredder. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. What is this? Uh, ooh. Reminder. Overdue. Hire a new staff to replace Dave. <laughs> Poor Dave. Who's this Dave? And why is he getting such a... Such a H. Okay, um, what do we got here? Cake? Is there actually... There's actually cake in here! <laughs> There's actually a cake. Come here. Come, I want some cake. Come, okay, you know it's not worth it. Go back where you belong. Finally, it says, um, justification of soup expenses. Look, soup is just nice. Okay, the way it tastes, the way it smells. I want to read the rest of this. It's funny. And uh, then nah, nah, here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, uh, the way it smells, the way it feels when it pours across my mother. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not. That's not what you're supposed to do with soup. Manuals, termination of Mark II, uh, terminal Mark II manual. Figure it out if you can't do that. Give up. Oh, the sense of humor is good in this one. What's this? Air. You got that right. There's plenty of air in that one. Uh, security res secret recipe. Schematics. CPU schemat. Oh, there we are. That's what we're looking for. But I want the secret recipe. One meat, one ball. Take meat and ball and toss into a pot. Boil the crap out of them. Voila. That sounds gross. Okay, uh, let's just take the schematics and uh, see what they say. Top secret, this document is intellectual property of Dynatech. Do not steal. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, waltz on out of here. No, baby. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Intruder alert. Oh no, I've really done it now. Oh no, they're coming for me. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Got oh, caught red-handed. Oh no, you got caught trying to steal the company secrets. Maybe you can talk your way out of this. To be continued. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. That was awesome. Okay, I guess that's the end of this. Maybe it's just a demo for now. <laughs> that was so well done. I am thoroughly impressed with this game. With the way that this game is going, the creative potential from the community, Oh my goodness, there's just so much, there's so much good here. This is so cool. This is just so cool. I hope that this game gets so much support. Just, like, more blocks. That's what I really want, like, more variety. Or maybe even the feature that I loved most from Main Assembly. Being able to bend shapes any way we want. I mean, just think of the potential of that. Because you could have just arbitrary shapes. Any shape you want, really, you could make. You can make buildings all kinds of different ways instead of just having prefabs of different rooms and stuff, which are good. But think about being able to bend them and shape them to whatever we want. 
Oh, that'd be so cool. That would be the like the number one feature that I would love in this game is being able to bend and pull and stretch shapes any way we want. That would just make this game so good. Not that it isn't already. It's so cool. And I love the fact that the community is seeming to be very active and very smart. It's got a smart community behind it that can make some really cool things. Well, that was pretty cool for like the uh, first showcase video. I must say I'm very, very impressed. And maybe we'll get to building some more stuff. I've got to think of something that I'll, else that I can do. And hey, you know what? Do I dare say that maybe if you've got an idea of something you want to see me build in this game, go ahead and pop it in the comment section. And hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get back to some challenge builds. You know, good old Trailmakers days. If you've got a great idea of something you'd like to see me try and build, go ahead and pop it in the comment section. Just go ahead and just do that. You know what? It could be really fun. And if not, I'll try and come up with something on my own and uh, maybe give you guys some time to think about it because that would be so much fun. And I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm like kind of aware of all the stuff that I can do so I could probably make some, you know, decently cool things. Like I think my uh, little plane over there is not, not bad, but it's definitely not the best I could do. I could do better. I definitely could if I put my mind to it. So hey, go ahead and challenge me if you have a great idea. Otherwise, I'll come up with something on my own and uh, we'll try and do that next time. But until then... I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Plasma. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, subscribe to see more Plasma and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.